Tuesday morning, my name is John Williams and it's Brema time. Thank you for looking. Here are the headlines. After a prolonged celebration of Supreme Commander Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin's birthday, great country of Russia have woken up to realize that a few parts of Russian Federation went missing. A special investigative commission has been established to detect the lost part of the country, only to be surprised to discover it on the other side of Dnieper. Great nation of Russia rejoice. The former wife of former deputy governor of Kherson Kirill Stremausov, who in latter days have died heroically in a car crash, have publicly raised concerns after a failed attempt to boil her husband's prestigious medal for heroism to feed her five children. For this, she and her children are facing up to 15 years in strong regime leisure camp in extremely eastern part of Russian Federation. And now, to talk about how Western sanctions affect Russian economy, we turn to our economic experts. Deputy Chairman of Russian financial community Daria Kilovarova. Good morning. And Doctor of Economics at Moscow State University Evgeny Zanozhny. Hello. Good morning. Colleagues, Russian National Duma has just passed a new law banning slandering Russian economy, and anyone criticizing Russian economy will face a jail sentence up to 11 years in strong regime. Mr. Zanozhny, what would be your assessment of uh, the prosperous Russian economy that is not affected by sanctions whatsoever? Mr. Zanozhny. Maybe colleague Daria would like to assess the question from her point of view. No. What is economics without politics? Which are most honest and truthful politics all around the world? Uh, all Western politics are full of lies and intrigues, whereas Russian politics are always direct and speaking their mind and always thinking about good being of nations, people, but not their own. So true. What about the sanctions? Russian music. Russian music is complex, but at the same time inspiring and motivational, known for its level of composer value and vast quantity of listeners all around the world. Yes, listeners. And what about the sanctions? Colleague Daria? Yes, colleague Daria, would you like to elaborate on the question? Getting in the bed with uh, milk is the best dish ever. Thank you, Daria. Thank you, Evgeny. That was it for the economic update. Russian troops have heroically saved the soap of Kherson from Ukrainian nationalists. One by one, the brave men of Russian military forces victoriously carried as much soap as humanly possible from one side of Dnieper River to the other, leaving the city of Kherson without neither soap nor reasons to come back there. Military of Defense of Russian Federation have announced it will be banning any presence of white color cloth in territory of New South Russia for camouflage reasons. Russian Ministry of Labor and Social Protection have announced that it will implement a new social protection plan to the families of mobilized Russian men. The government will provide a public beater to keep the wives of the heroes in check throughout their service in special military operation and even three months after the unlikely event of the reverse resurrection. And now in sports news. Russian national football team has taken part in the first match of Qatar FIFA World Cup 2022 and have gloriously won a match against France 5-0. Minister of Sport of Russian Federation Oleg Matitin have congratulated the national team and in his speech called ridiculous Anglo-Saxon propaganda the claims that Russia has been banned from cup and France national football team that was on the field was just 11 homeless dogs dressed in French national football team jerseys. Oleg, можно еще раз? Нет? 
These were the headlines. Vichy. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere.